The Jupyter Notebook's variable view shows you all the variables that are defined in the current notebook context. Now here I have the Jupyter extension installed and I've opened up a notebook and executed a few cells and you can see the variables view down here in the panel. To actually go and trigger this if you're not seeing it, you can just click on the variables item up here in the toolbar and it'll go and open up the variables view. Now this list of variables here, it's going to show you the name of all the variables, their current type, along with their current value. So we can look here and find ABC. If we go look in the variables view down here, we can see that indeed ABC has been set to XYZ as the value and it is a string. Now the important thing about the variables view is that it is reflecting the state of the notebook itself. It's not reflecting the uh, code that you've actually written. So if I go in and change this to something else, so I say XYZ and then one, two, three, you can see that the variable has not been updated yet until I actually go and run the cell. So I'm gonna run the cell now. And as soon as I go and execute the cell, now the variable has been updated. You can see as we're looking through the list here, we also have some more advanced types that are showing up here. So we have some other ones that are being defined as int slider and all these other types that are showing up. So if I go and I change this to something like, let me actually do that. Uh, if I go and I change this to something like a list where I say one, two, three, you can see that that type is now going to be presented nicely in the variables view as well. And you can see that indeed this is a list. So we can have these more complex types and, and indeed classes and other types of things that are also going to show up in the Jupyter Notebooks variable view down in the panel. Now, as you're looking through this list, if you're wanting to filter some things down, you can easily sort the list here. So I could go up to the columns here and just change the sort order just by clicking in one of the headers. So right now I'm sorting in reverse alphabetical order instead of in alphabetical order. I can go and change uh, the sorting based on the type instead. So now it's sorting based on the type of all the variables and grouping all those together there. So it makes it easy to go and scroll through and find the specific variable that you're interested in. The variables view provides a useful summary of the current notebook context and also lets you see all the variables you can use when writing new code. So that's a quick look at the Jupyter Notebooks variable view in VS Code.